G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, my name is Sean. Uh, if you're new here and you're wondering what I talk about, I do tech reviews, tutorials, unboxings, all that kind of fun stuff. And today we're gonna to be talking about what sort of export times that I managed to achieve when I switched from Intel to AMD uh, using the Ryzen 5 2600. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any other future videos, hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so before I begin, I thought I should just give a quick recap on the hardware that I'm using. Um, I switched from the 7700K from Intel actually about a week ago. I'm now using the Ryzen 5 2600, which has six cores and 12 threads at about 3.2 gigahertz. Um, I'm exporting all the footage at 4K resolution at 40 megabits using Adobe Premiere 2018. So I'll be doing some screen capture and I'm sharing with you the times that I managed to achieve for um, a 10 minute clip. And if you have any questions, then just leave them down below. Cheers.
Okay guys, so now that you've seen what sort of uh, render or export times you can get with the Ryzen 5 2600 in Adobe Premiere, um, it will hopefully help you make a decision on which CPU to get or if this CPU is the one that you want to get. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. If you did like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You can always reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.